Hi, we are John and Samantha. Welcome to our channel, Vintage RV Adventures. We bought our motorhome in July 2021, and with the help of a Rob the Builder, we have spent that time rebuilding the motorhome from what was a salvage wreck. This year, we're gonna complete our motorhome project, and we will soon be on our way visiting some lovely parts of the UK, when we'll also take Shelby, our German Shepherd dog, along for the ride. So please do follow our journey. We look forward to having you along. Well, welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2022. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's get straight into it. Uh, we'll show you what we're going to be doing today. Okay. Okay then, so the first job of 2022 is to finish off this little mini kitchen so this is on the far side isn't it uh what we're we going to do today rob all right we're going to install this work surface um the only small problem we've got it is at the back of the work surface uh, from underneath there's there's fixes i can get from underneath sorry yep. but the only way up um, through here and at the back as yes. well that's going to go through and hold the surface in place but the only place i can't get a fix in is at the far corner over there and I don't particularly want to go through the top of the surface if I can help it. Yep. It can be done because you can put a dowel in and rub it down it all look the same but trying to get away with the surface fixing. So what we're going to do is place some noggins in strategically and when these noggins go in fix them secure and that's going to hold the work surface in place. In that back fascia. corner. Yeah and the back corner. Across and the rest of it is going to be fixed be isn't it? Yeah. Through yeah. Underneath. yeah that's and right. the plywood on the wall as well so uh, that's part of the job we're going to do. Yeah today. and we're going to fix this plywood in here. So uh, okay guys so we'll um, we'll come back to you in a bit when uh, we've done all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, uh, we just thought we'd show you um, uh, any problems that we had over the Christmas while it was uh, sat around doing nothing in all the rain and the snow. And uh, yeah, so this window, this is on the back corner, uh, this is leaking. I don't know if you can see it, there's some water in the trough there in this metal frame. Uh, and we've, we've identified, this is tape on the outside, this is, we've identified that the water is coming in here between the window the glass and this frame here so when the wet weather gets a bit warmer and there's no rain we're going to take this <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> we're going to take this window out and then reseal it to the uh, to the metal frame and another leak guys and we put this on before christmas just to cover a hole another leak is here so and don't worry there's no 240 volt uh, widening at the moment on the uh, ring circuit so this behind here is a vent to outside and we think one of the reasons the water's getting in is we've got no lip across the top of it to divert the rain away from it so the rain's just coming straight through the vent uh, it's a replacement vent that we have to put on uh, so yeah we need to fix that as well But the most confusing one of all over the Christmas is that I came out a few days ago just to check on the motorhome, see what was going on, if anything, and I heard a noise. And uh, this diesel eater, for whatever reason, and we still don't know why, had started itself up. Um, so, I don't know, it was switched off um, at, on the control panel on the front, and they come out and the, the fan was blowing cold. And looking at the timer, it had been running for about four hours, so no idea why that decided to start itself up. But uh, for the moment, I've disconnected it from the power supply. And what we're going to do is put in a separate um, switch for it. Also so, an yeah, an isolation yeah. switch. Maybe we'll put it on here or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, a bit like the, uh, the the light switches that we've got in. Get one of them. Uh, so we can turn it off positively rather than just rely on the control unit. It's obviously an electronics glitch. But uh, yeah, there we go. Okay guys, I've got a slight change of plan. I just passed it by John. This, uh, this back section here sticks out. Uh, 
a little more than what I thought, which is good news because what I'm going to do now is because I can't get a fix, I don't want a top fixing over there. I'm running a piece of timber across there with the boarding at the back. We're going to lose an inch and a half um, on the surface, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. But it means I have got one hell of a fix in down in that corner, which means this won't be able to walk for future reference. So that's uh, it's definitely a goer. So things change as you go along. Well guys, you saw in the last video some letters on our living room floor, some uh, paper letters and uh, Rob was making some of it. And this is what he's made. Absolutely chuffed with this. Rob, talk us through what you did here mate. Well, we had some bit of scraps of wood left and we said we were going to put something up here. Um, and what we've done is glued two pieces of timber together um, that's going to be thrown away and we've come up with the idea of Indiana because uh, she was born in Indiana, so that's the reason why she's called Indiana. Indeed, yep. so there you came from there, yeah. This has got to be um, uh, sealed and painted. I think the idea behind this is we're painted burgundy, which is one of the colours on the outside of the uh, van. Yes. And there's going to be a grey uh, uh, panel, uh, paper on the back here, so it'll stick out. Yep. It's absolutely good. For what we've just got a few more fixings in it, seal it, and then um, she's, uh, she's good to go. But there you are. So, Rob, I know the story, but for the viewers, can you tell us the, your, the backstory of why you thought of doing this? Um, you made one of these, didn't you, before? Oh, I did, yeah. I used to work at um, Drake Manor on the, um, on the Maelstrom. And, um, so guys, just for people sorry. who don't know, Drayton Manor, obviously everyone knows what Drayton Manor is. That's local to us, isn't it? It's a theme park, local to us. Yeah, it's a theme park, everybody okay. goes. And I was in charge of uh, the running of uh, the Maelstrom and it had a crack on the window. And um, I, obviously they wouldn't replace the window, so what I did is I made one of these to go in front of the window. Um, yep. Out of some 6 one as well, all at my own expense. Uh, painted it white and stuck it in uh, the situ and it looked absolutely brilliant. So um, I've seen these before and uh, I've seen machine ones done as well. And this was all done by hand with a jigsaw and a sunny down. And I think, um, I have to say, it does look good. It does look good. Does look oh, good. I'm chuffed to bits with yeah. it, mate. You don't yeah. crack your job. We've just got to make there. a few holes in it just to secure it in place uh, on here. Uh, but we yep. decided to go uh, do a little bit more. Um, cool. Right, thanks for that, Rob. You're welcome. So, have some lunch, Robert. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's snowing outside as well. Bloody it hell. is snowing, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, let's tuck in. Right, Rob, that felt like a very long day. It did, it did. Um, <laughs> Just explain what we've been up to. Uh, what we've been up to now is that uh, we're now putting a prime and undercoat on in all, in all the cupboards. And the beauty of this is that uh, when you do put it on, the undercoat, um, you can see your holidays and places where you've missed out. So these have obviously got to be filled in. But as I said, it's only a prime and undercoat. That's going to go in all the cupboards. Um, so we it's looking good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, it will the, go in the white, painted grey as well against the grey. White's really popping on them yeah. lights. You can see it's still uh, wet. I'm not going to touch it, but uh, it's got to dry off yet first. Okay. And there will be obviously an overcoat on that as well. So that's the kitchen side, guys, and the bed. So that's those cupboards. Let's uh, spin round. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we've finished off um, putting fascia on. 
all the cupboard around the kitchen uh we've primed and undercoated inside the cupboard um yeah so we've painted that white because we want to try and make the make it because it's, it's enclosed we want to make it pop a little bit you have white tiles on here no, so I, I think once you've got the white tiles on yeah. there it's not going to be dark at all but it, it, as i say that's that's got to come down as well but um it is slightly dark and everywhere else but once you've got the white on it it will, it will okay up. we've uh, cleared this out as well um so underneath yep little um, cupboard We've left the, Next to the fridge running a halfway across the other side, John. So we've got access to the plug at the back, um, uh, yes, just in case right, anything. Yep. So there's a yep. little plug over there at the back as well. Okay, cool. So um, let's have a look down the back. Okay. And I think we've got to start with the centerpiece, Indiana, which you've now fixed down for the moment. Yeah, just for now. It's been fixed in three places. We've got access to all the screws. You can't see them, but we've got access to all the screws. Stop it from moving or warping in any way, shape, or form. It's been sealed. Um, we've undercoated and primed in the cupboards as well. And we have indeed. This is going to be painted, I think, John Burgundy. Did we say Burgundy? The Indiana. Yeah, Indiana. Yeah. So we're going to take that off. on that side. Two seconds. Yep. So, sorry, Rob. So these cupboards are going to be grey. Yep. Yeah. Grey cupboards. Um, they've obviously been taken off. Again, yep. they've been primed and undercoated. Cool. Um, ready to go for. Uh, that's a couple of final coats, but there's a few places to be filled as well. Okay, Indiana then. What are we going to do tomorrow? Indiana. We are going to take Indiana off and we're going to take her to, uh, into the garage and we're going to paint her. We're going to spray it, aren't spray, we? We're going yeah. to spray paint so what it. what it turns out like and um, bring her back in. Just to give you an idea of what uh, colour we're going to use on so um, Indiana. We're... Just got to get the garage warm enough <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, um, to allow it to... Um, yeah, vent off. I think the, the imagination as well, but there's going to be grey uh, background on here um, yeah. with the white shelf and with the uh, burgundy Indiana. It'll, it'll stand out. It'll look absolutely stunning. Right. So for us, it'll be in the morning. For you guys, it'll be in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the garage in a second. Morning, guys. So it's now 8.30. On Saturday morning this video will be out to you this afternoon uh, the job for today is going to be to paint the um, god it's too early in the morning Indiana, Rob. Indiana <laughs> the Indiana sign we're gonna have to do that in the garage Christmas. yeah so we need to get this little beast out this is another project we've got on the go but well, this is this is a uh, raw on the back burner this is a Range Rover salvage vehicle that we've had for a couple of years so let's get this outside and clear the garage. Okay, Range Rover safely outside in the wet. <laughs> and uh, we're in the dry. And we've put some newspaper on the garage floor. The Indiana's on a sheet of MDF. And we're all taped down. So I think we're about ready for some paint mixing, Rob. You've, you've, uh, you've flatted that down, haven't you? Yeah, you've yeah, flatted just that yeah, down. Just rubbed down very fine paper. Okay. And it's ready to go. The surface's been primed. Um, so Oh, I think what we're going to do, sorry, is we're not going to spray straight away, are we? We're going to... No, we're going to get a small little brush and uh, just do all the uh, these parts inside here and yep. down there as well, because these are obviously all going to be seen. So uh, I think uh, the best thing to do is paint those first. Yeah, we've uh, tried to rob a makeup brush off Samantha or something, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> See what she comes up with. Okay, this is our tartan, tartan red. <laughs> okay, lift the lid, Rob, Rob. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's actually brighter than I thought. Yeah. We're going to be using this for the outside. That is that is, that is brighter than I thought, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure. Actually, guys, I'm not sure we are going to be using this for the outside of the RV because that looks a bit like pillar box red to me rather than tartan it red. Uh, it doesn't look like a burgundy. It's... We'll see how that looks when it's sprayed on, but that looks a bit too bright for the motorhome itself. So, yeah, I'm not happy with that. Okay, let's uh, let's get it on. Well, Samantha's had a brainwave. I think she's, uh, she's hit the nail on the head. So what we're going to do for the purposes of painting this sign, won't be for the motorhome, but for this sign, we've got some, uh, some grey here uh, that we're going to use on the motorhome. So we're going to drop a little bit of grey into the tartan red in a mixing tub and uh, mix enough paint for this sign just to darken that red a little bit. So let's get to a bit of mixing done. Okay, so yeah, that's a big go. 
That's better. That's a better colour. Yeah. So Rob's just touching this in, but we, we are going to be spraying this in a bit. We uh, just need to get into the nooks and crannies though first. Well, there's the first dust coat, guys. Just to give it a little bit of a primer effect. I don't want to uh, spray too much on too quickly. You might have dropped a little bit more thinners into it though. Well guys, what do you think of that? How's that looking? What do you reckon Rob? Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll let that uh, dry off a bit. Come back to it in a minute. Right guys, so this is one of the doors from the living room. And we're going to have a little experiment while we've got the spray gun equipment out. We're going to spray this door Grampian grey, which is quite a dark grey. Uh, We've actually used that grey on the outside. John has some of the trim on the outside, so we did. So the viewers well. remember, yeah, it was the yep. grey metal trim on That's the outside. Right. Yep. Yep. So right, so let's have a quick spray up of this on the one side uh, and see what sort of finish we get, and see if it's worth bothering spraying them or whether we should go brush painting. So let's have a go. And there we go. Those are the living room doors. Um, cupboard doors now painted uh, which I think we're going to go with they've been spray painted and uh, yeah look really good so these will go on next week now and we just took over the kitchen <laughs> in the house just to uh, let them harden off a bit they won't they won't harden off in the garage okay Right guys, so there we go. There's the Indiana sign in place. Obviously there's no wallpaper behind it, so it's not going to pop as much as it would. But I'm absolutely I chuffed it's a bit. it's popping already. I think it looks brilliant. It does, doesn't it? It does look good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. You know, that looks, it looks stunning. Well, the good thing is, John, we've experimented with the doors as well, as you said earlier on, uh, with the grey. And um, there's a bit more painting to be done on the uh, right-hand side. But I think once you get the grey up against that, it'll... Pop it yeah. Even more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. And I don't know any other motor home's got one of them, Rob. Nope, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you've liked uh, this week's video, guys. We really enjoyed the uh, oh, work absolutely. this week. That yeah, fantastic. The good thing is that we're getting to the end now. We're not getting to the end, but we're getting to places now where we can actually start. You can see the whole thing coming together. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's seriously taking shape. Um, I, I can't wait I to get these. Eyes off <laughs> the, I can't wait to get these cupboard doors on because yeah. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, I think these um, these will uh, these will go Monday. These will be un undone and prop on Monday. We'll have a look at it, and if he doesn't look right, we can redo yeah. it. But from the from spray, just spray done, painting, yeah, seems what we've just done, it, it, yeah. Um, yeah. it does look good, and I think that's the way forward we're going to go. Yeah. Right, guys. Hope you liked the video anyway, and um, give us a big thumbs up. Please do. Big subscribe, please, yes, if you please. haven't done so already. And, uh, and we'll see you next week in the next one. Take care, guys. Take care.